Good morning all. Uh, I am Dr. Anjavan Muthi. I am an MD in OB-GYN and an oncology pathologist by training. I am associated with the St. Teresa's Hospital as a consultant for the last 12 years. Today we will be speaking about Cervical Cancer Awareness Month, Jan that is January 2023. We, why we are talking about this cervical cancer awareness? Because it has a huge global disease burden, about 6 lakhs new cases every year and about 3.4 lakh women die from this disease every year. And in India, it is the second most common female gynecological cancer, female cancers, uh, forming about 18% of the disease burden, second to breast which has about incidence of 28%. The incidence in India is uh, 13 per 1 lakh women per year and uh, the WHO aims to reduce this to 4 per, 4 per 1 lakh women per year so that it ceases to be a public health concern. The WHO targets to achieve this elimination by the year 2100, that is the end of this century. The theme for the year 2023 is now, to eliminate the cervical cancer within a few generations, that is, the girls who are vaccinated now, when they grow to reach the old age, by that time, the disease will be reduced to the minimum levels. The theme for this year is having three pillars to achieve this. One is the get informed about the disease, get screened for cervical cancer at an early stage, and to get vaccinated to prevent the disease occurrence in women. The main cause for development of cervical cancer is HPV infection. It involves, it is involved in about 95 to 98 percent of the cases. <clears throat> the other factors associated with it are early age at marriage, early age at sexual intercourse, early age at child, first childbirth, then uh, multiple sexual partners, smoking, addiction to other substances, lack of education, and lack of personal hygiene. Immunosuppression due to HIV infection and transplant patients also have a higher incidence of this disease. In most of these women, the HPV infection gets cured or get um, spontaneously corrected because of the immunity of the patient. And But in 15 to 20 percent of the women, the infection persists. This persistence of infection is the main cause for development of cervical cancer. This occurs over a period of 8 to 10 years. This provides us an opportunity to screen the woman by simple tests to diagnose the disease at a very early stage or at a pre-cancerous stage or zero stage cancer before it develops into full stage cancer. This is the basis for screening test because the long pre-management phase is there. And uh, cervix inhalation to breast offers an advantage for screening these women. The, the various screening methods are either a pap test, which can be done as an OPD procedure in uh, all women over the age of 30 years at a frequency of every three years. <clears throat> if it is normal, uh, the patient can be kept on regular follow up, but if it is abnormal, further tests via colposcopy and biopsy, where it's the directed biopsy is taken on the vision and depending upon the biopsy report for the management to be done. And in other methods of screening are HPV testing or human papilloma virus testing. This virus can be collected similar to the AFMIA sample that we collected. And uh, this is the routine method that is followed in advanced countries. Gradually this is picking up in our country too. And the method which can be used for screening is VIA or VIA it is called where on the Acetic acid application, a very mild concentration of acetic acid, that is 2% is applied to the cervix and seen for any abnormal white appearances and depends upon, depending upon that, a biopsy is taken. As we all, as we all know, it's, uh, cervical cancer is caused by HPV infection. It is similar to any other viruses, like other viruses, like uh, chickenpox or uh, COVID, etc where uh, it can be, the disease can be prevented with uh, vaccine. Here also similarly, a vaccine can be given to girls before sexual activity is started. You see, when uh, 
this vaccine is given at that age between between 9 to 14 years of age this the um, females develop immunity against the hpv infection so whenever the after marriage or after sexual activity starts when uh, the lady is exposed to this virus the infection will be very mild or no infection will occur and the severe effects of malignancy transformation will not be there this is the basis for uh, screening programs as we discussed the course of events in ca cervix development is that when once the infection occurs uh, most of them get uh, resolved on their own by the patient's immunity but in some women because of some high risk factors it may persist as a chronic infection beyond the age of 2 years so when that persists over the next 8 to 10 years the disease develops into uh, cin 1 grade 1 2 3 then invasive uh, carcinoma in situ and then invasive cancer this process takes about 8 to 10 years so this provides us an opportunity to uh, screen the woman for diagnosing the disease at an early stage or zero stage when the treatment if it is offered will cure the patients in almost 100% of the cases so this vaccine the hpv vaccine is available which can be taken by all girls between the ages of 9 to 14 years two doses 6 months apart in women between 15 to 26 years of age three doses can be offered to them and this provides good immunity against development of cervical cancer and this is one of the most preventable cancers as compared to some other cancers because it is of an infective origin and vaccine is available to prevent this infection who has uh, given elimination target for 2030 as a stop gap to achieve the long term strategy of eliminating by 2100 years the strategies are 90 70 90 strategy here 90% of the girls should be vaccinated between 9 to 14 years 70% of the women should be screened once before 35 years and once again by 45 years of age and then treatment to all precancerous patients at least 90% of the women in precancerous stage and 90% in advanced disease where <clears throat> management by supportive care as well as definitive treatment can be completed this is the uh, 7 90 70 90 target for 2030 that has been um, forwarded by who to achieve in the short term over the long term strategy of eliminating cervical cancer by 2100 thank you